when you eat certain diets, it uh, really increases uh, body consciousness. You see, so you are more into the body awareness. But you take vegetarian diet, it helps to reduce uh, that body awareness. We should increase the things which work on the mind, the food which sees the sun. It absorbs energy from the sun and that sun energy uh, has a lot to do with uh, the mind. And the earth has a lot to do with the physical body. So if you have the realization you are not bound to vegetarianism or this or that, even though uh, for the sake of uh, service to other people, you maintain that lifestyle. Right, good evening, beloved brothers. It's another beautiful um, evening right here on our channel, Jan Cosmic Foundation. And as you know, we are here to bring you things related to freedom, awakening and awareness. And so if you want to attain freedom, if you want to be um, awakened, please subscribe to our channel and follow us all the time. Today we are looking at a very controversial and a very interesting topic, vegetarianism. And I, I myself, I wonder why some people in this world, um, they are not interested in eating animal products and, you know, meat, fish, chicken and so on. I wonder even how they prepare their food to make it attractive, um, tasty, nice and uh, so on. Where do these guys get their protein from? We are going to find out answers from Dr. Bafu Jan. He is a spiritual master. He's a healer. He's a health expert. Um, you are a vegetarian, right? Yes. Okay. He's a vegetarian. And he will give us everything that we need concerning this topic. Good evening, doctor. Good evening, um, beloved. You said you are, you are a vegetarian, right? Yes. yes, yes. <laughs> anyway, thank you for your time. But we will go straight to the topic. Um, when we say um, vegetarianism, what does it mean? You are a vegetarian, so maybe you will be the right person to explain it to us. Mm. Who is a vegetarian? Okay. Yeah. I always like to explain things uh, a little beyond the thing itself okay. and then come to the thing. See, so that we can even get the better understanding. Better understanding. Yeah. Um, I always say we are spirits. And we are in this uh, mental zone and then physical zone. So we have two zones, external, internal, physical, mental. So uh, as spirits, when these zones, um, we function with them, we unite with them gradually to the point that uh, we even forget we are spirits. And sometimes we identify ourselves based on the clothing uh, of these energies, mm -hmm. you see, mind and body. And it is... Uh, something uh, we need to go beyond, you see. We cannot have complete fulfillment in our lives until we are able to really pull uh, ourselves to the point we know this is spirit, this is me, that is the real me, and this is uh, something lower, you see, something different, it's a frequency. It is also spirit energy, but it is mind because it is lower in frequency than the physical body. You see. So, so what you are saying is we should know the difference between spirit, mind, and body. Exactly. Mm, okay. Exactly. And knowing uh, this, most of the time we know things through the mind, but uh, spirit is beyond the mind. So it becomes a bit tricky because mind cannot know spirit. Mind can know matter. Matter is below it. 
and it is looking at it, you see. But you can't look at spirit. Wow. That is where the problem is for human beings. So they are only using the mind and they want to find spirit inside it. But the spirit is the one mm. giving you the energy from behind. Mm. <laughs> wow. Yes. So that's so, why it looks as if the mind is in control. Mind uh -huh. is in control. Uh, okay. So anyway, um, if we want to realize the spirit, awaken to our spirit nature, it means we have to drop even mind and body in a sense. You see? So there must be a kind, something be, uh, between spirit and mind and body so that it is like we are not uh, attached that much. We can be with it, but not really like this. We wear this clothing, but in actual fact, it is not, the body. It's not uh, attached to the body, to the body mm -hmm. so that when you are taking it off, it can go. No, it's, it's separate. You see, so the, the body and mind should be like that. And uh, we are trying to help so that humans will realize the spirit. Now, there are two principal approaches how you can realize the spirit. If you have the understanding Right, right, right now, one can just go beyond the body and mind. But that understanding, because we are hypnotized, we are, uh, we are tuned to this body-mind. So it's so difficult. That's why we approach it slowly as a path. Okay. Otherwise, instantly, you just drop it and you are in spirit right now. See, it happens sometimes, but uh, it's rare. So it has made it necessary that we have to approach it step by step. Take the example of sleep. Um, if you are really sleepy, it doesn't matter whether bed has been laid, uh, you've taking a, a cold bath to cool your body, <laughs> and uh, you have dimmed the light. <laughs> it doesn't matter. You if you are really sleepy, you just sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I remember there was a man, they were organizing a funeral around his house. Uh -huh. And uh, you see the funeral, they were playing sound systems. And so uh, he said he was not able to sleep because of the sound system. So he was going there to stop the sounds operators to stop playing the music so that he can sleep. When he went there, he saw that somebody was deeply asleep near the speaker. <laughs> <laughs> so he went back. Uh -huh. He didn't even tell them to stop Good. the music. So he went that back and said, well, maybe with determination I can sleep. Yeah, that's because right. someone is just sleeping right, right nearby. Sleep. That means uh, he's not deeply feeling, he's not feeling sleepy, yes. really. <laughs> you see? So the same way people are not really determined to realize the self enough. Uh, they are not determined enough. So somehow we continue inside it and therefore, oh, uh, it's like they are not ready to sleep. Eh? Mm -hmm. So... We say, lay the bed. Uh, after that, um, go take a cold bath. Uh, take this uh, tea, drink it. It will relax you. Then uh, put the light off. Do this, do that. Mm -hmm. All these arrangements so that you sleep. You can sleep better. You see? Mm -hmm. So all these things, uh, don't do this, do this, don't do this, do this, eat this. All this is just trying to help you to realize yourself. Okay. Nothing more, nothing less. Okay. You see, all the rules of the game, mm. they are just for you to realize yourself. So, all the different religions and practices here and there, hidden inside it is for you to realize yourself. Mm. Even though those who are 
doing it may not be aware. Be aware. You see? So, we must understand. If somebody lays the bed and uh, takes a cold bath and puts off the light, still it is not guaranteed that he will sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it? So you can you can take vegetarian diet, you can do this, you can do that. Still it's not guaranteed that you realize yourself. <laughs> Are you with me? I'm with you. I'm listening. Yes. So practices are helping so that we come close to the point. So it's preparing you to sleep. If I say sleep, it's preparing you to shift from the physical, mental consciousness to spirit, spirit level. consciousness. See, that is the essence of all that is going on. So, if I come telling you, make these exercises, do this, do that, eat this, don't do this, it is all preparing you so that you shift mm -hmm. from physical and mental state and enter into spirit, spirit. Okay. experience. But if you can really understand deeply the subject matter and uh, really be willing, inner decision, deep inner decision. We have outer decision and inner decision. Well, most of the things we are doing is outer decisions we are making. But if you can make inner decision really, that today, 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 it's not just today, now, 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 um, entering into self-realization, it can be just pop. Then you are there. You are there. Okay. You see, but um, easy to say it though, it's just like if I say, uh, I want to sleep, I want to sleep, but your mind, <laughs> <laughs> I mean it, I'm sleeping. I mean it, I'm sleeping. But, <laughs> you see? So, uh, somehow, there are certain things that go on and it gets you closer to the sleeping point. And before you realize, you are gone. You see? So, even these teachings we are given, uh, sometimes you are listening to and it's really resonating inside you. Yes, 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 that is it. Yes, yes, yes. Anytime you are doing like that, it brings you closer and closer to the realization. See? And uh, various practices, they are designed so that body, mind, the effect on you, the grip on you will be loosening, mm -hmm. will be loosening. That is why we have all these practices mm -hmm. and teachings. Okay. So vegetarianism is likewise the same. See, when you eat certain diets, it uh, really increases uh, body consciousness. You see, so you are more into the body awareness. But you take vegetarian diet, it helps to reduce uh, that body awareness to some extent. Mm -hmm. You see, so. There are other things to join with it, like certain type of practices, like the breathing techniques and certain type of techniques. And uh, it helps to calm the mind and detach the mind so that you are shifting gradually. And you are doing your worldly things, but there is a shift taking place slowly. It's just like when sometimes you are working and you are getting more tired and then sleep is gripping you slowly, mm -hmm. slowly, slowly, slowly before you realize yeah, you are asleep. that you are asleep. So all these things are being taught, helping people to draw closer and closer and closer so that uh, they shift into spirit, spirit. Okay. awareness. And it's a reality. It is the truth we, we came from. It's the original. Body, mind, they are not original things. 
they are passing away. Okay? Yes, yes. They are projections within time and space, but time and space itself is a projection that came before these things also follow up. So they will all be withdrawn into spirit. And uh, when spirit wants another show, <laughs> then projects mind. And mind projects its space. And then lower frequencies of spirit energy uh, begins to cloud inside it and forms to, for purposes. Form means purpose. Okay. You see? Yeah. When purpose is not there, no form. No form. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So all the forms are due to purposes that uh, the spirit wants to enjoy. So a form. Uh, a form for enjoyment in this way or that way. You see? Mm -hmm. So, um, uh, this, this vegetarianism, uh, um, basically, it helps uh, the awareness in the body to be lowered, and then awareness in the mind. So even vegetarianism is in two categories. Mm -hmm. A part that is dealing with uh, body awareness, physical awareness. And then the part which is dealing with mental awareness. Okay. So we want to go beyond both. But you have to slow down the awareness inside the body. And when it has uh, slowed down enough, then things which this body will call attention to and give you that uh, kind of thing, you know, in the local language, what it says, sumsumpe, uh, mm -hmm. that means the spirit wants to express itself, but it's caught inside body, <laughs> you know. So in a way, uh, you're losing these things through two types of vegetarian diet. The first diet that deals with the body is uh, those things which are not exposed to the sun, but they are exposed mostly in contact with earth. Yeah. Okay. Because our physical side, the body, is more of earthy nature. Can you give us examples? About yes. Some of the yes. things, the foods. Um, you have. Yams, okay. um, uh, cassava, okay. cocoa yam, um, all those potatoes, mm -hmm. yes, they are all For the uh, in the ground. And uh, they work more on the physical side. And uh, those exposed to the sun, they work more on the mind. Okay. See? And uh, in this way, uh, when you are vegetarian, you'll be able to blend the two in such a way that uh, the body and the mind, you can have a way of lowering the uh, awareness inside them. The focus inside them begins to reduce. But mostly, uh, we should increase the things which work on the mind, the food which sees the sun. It absorbs energy from the sun, and that sun energy uh, has a lot to do with uh, the mind. And the earth has a lot to do with the physical body. You see? Um, I understand vegetarianism has got to do with um, taking of meat, animal product, and so on. And someone even told me we have categories or even types. Yes, yes. That we have um, flexitarians. Some people, uh, once in a while, they will take meat, maybe once in a, three days or a week. Uh, we have uh, pescatarian also, those who take only fish but not 
um, you know, red sure, meat. Sure. We have some people who take dairy products mm -hmm. and not meat, uh, lacto-ovo, vegetarians, mm -hmm. um, and so on. I don't know which category do you belong to, and can you explain this in relation to the mind and uh, the body relation that you were, you were talking about? Yes, I will explain, but uh, uh, let me tell you, as you make reference to myself, I want to let you see. Um, when you achieve spirit realization, that means there is a detachment, inner detachment from mind and body. And therefore, when that is achieved, in actual fact, what goes on with body and mind doesn't affect you. Okay. So, because you don't identify with Yourself it. Yourself with your body. Uh -huh. So at that stage, it's not even like vegetarianism or whatever it is. It is your body. You have gone beyond the body. So what goes on with body doesn't matter. But most of the time, we keep these same principles that takes one to that state. We keep it for others to have emulation, you know, to emulate it. So for, to help others to follow, you see, because it is, this is the journey, this is the way, this is the way. But personally, um, it's not like I'm bound to it, you see. Um, it's the same with you. If you have the realization, you are not bound to vegetarianism or this or that. Even though, uh, for the sake of uh, service to other people, you maintain that lifestyle. I hope you understand. Yes. Now, um, the different types of vegetarianism, uh, they are quite okay in one sense. What it is is, as I'm talking of it as a journey, it, it is gradual for some people. Whilst some can, like I said, some can have the understanding and right, right now even shift into spirit realization. Some, it takes long, but we have to encourage them gradually, okay. you see. Um, if you have uh, children, let's say, of the same mm -hmm. age, and uh, it comes to the time for them to walk, you see that one is uh, able to walk firmly within a short time, another needs support, and so on and so forth. But we have to encourage okay. uh, all of them. The one who needs support must be given the support. So sometimes changing over to vegetarianism, for some, uh, it's not so easy. Uh, two things. First of all, it may be he's, he or she is dependent. Maybe this is an example I'll give you. Uh, there were some two boys. They came to me, they wanted to change and become vegetarians. They want, and then uh, they were students, and they were in some school. So it was holidays they came. So then I said, well, 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 well. Uh, you could do it right away, but what if you go to school? Are you the one cooking your food? They said, no. <laughs> and you eat from the, uh, the pantry. pantry. So what do you do? They were disturbed. Yeah, but they really wanted it. Then I said, well, if you really, really want it, you will receive help from the universe. Because whatever uh, you made the inner decision, if the decision is very deep, then it is touching spirit, and spirit will respond okay. and clear the way. So, uh, go, but according to your that is what we call faith. According to your inner decision, which is deep, which is faith, um, the way will be paved. So these two boys, they went back to school. School reopened. They went. And then 
Uh, they had to eat the dining hall food. They don't have money to go buy any. <laughs> so they were there one day. Uh, food was ready. They were going to the dining hall. But at the entrance there, uh, it's almost like some more people were crowding there to enter. So they were standing discussing. Today's food cry, it is all me to <laughs> <laughs> They were discussing like that, not knowing one master was close by and overheard them. And that master himself was practicing vegetarianism. vegetarianism. Wow. See how the universe responds. Yes, yes. So the master was watching them. He was listening to their conversation. And he felt for them so much. So uh, just as they were entering, he told them after the dining hall they should see him. Mm -hmm. they, they, they were afraid. <laughs> <laughs> what have we done? <laughs> what have we done today? <laughs> okay. Anyway, so after dining hall, they went to see the master. Then the master said, yes, I heard you discussing about vegetarianism. And they were a bit afraid because they thought maybe due to that, mm -hmm. they will be punished or something. And then the master said, yes, yes, this is something, feel free. I will, I will discuss it with the assistant headmaster. Oh, and then we see how the matron I'll make some arrangement. Oh, good. <laughs> and wow. lo and behold, the master did it like that, and everything was arranged for them, and they had their special diet, vegetarian, every day, like this. So um, uh, the inner decision to do something, but sometimes uh, one may find himself in circumstances, even a married I mean, uh, a couple, one may be vegetarian, I find it difficult because the other is not, you see. So all these things demand that you make a gradual approach, you see. Um, sometimes you come in the middle way and uh, you come to fish and that's why that one you can be on the same table with them to eat. And then gradually, your partner may also adjust to the same because fish is also okay. And then some fish and eggs. And then uh, by and by, if, if there is inner decision, mm -hmm. really deep decision from your spirit, nature will find a way to arrange. Nature or God is, if you want to say, the universe, the source. The great spirit will find a way for you, and uh, every change comes. So it's step by step for some mm -hmm. people. That is okay. okay. Um, I wanted to know about the, the meat aspect or the animal product aspect of vegetarianism because mm -hmm. sometimes do I hear aside vegetarianism, I hear um, veganism mm -hmm. and plant based. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether you've been mm -hmm. hearing those things. Yeah. Can you also explain that a little Yeah, bit? veganism means uh, plant-based. That is, um, no products from animals. Okay. Even to the extent that those uh, who take honey, some don't take honey because uh, bees may, uh, prepare it. Uh, some don't take milk. The vegans don't take milk because milk is coming from animals, mm -hmm. you see. Uh, so they stretch it to such a level. Mm -hmm. But then, when they don't take uh, animal products like that, still, even in vegans, there are still divisions. Mm -hmm. You see, those who take only plant-based uh, foods, there are some of them who become fruitarians, fruitarians only fruits, you see. Mm -hmm. Even though the other things are also vegan, but they will not take it. Mm -hmm. So divisions are plenty. 
But the central thing I always want people to understand is not to forget the real purpose of all these things they practice. Okay. The purpose is to achieve self-realization ultimately. So uh, it is not an end in itself. Mm -hmm. So um, if you practice these things as the body awareness lowers, then it allows spirit frequency to dominate the body. And that uh, takes away all the ailments. You don't become sick. If spirit frequency uh, dominates your body, how can you be sick? Impossible. You see, so uh, if you are mixed with the body, that means body awareness, mind awareness, and so on. Then, ah, emotions disturb you day and night, your mind. Then, uh, a lot of pains here, pains there. Uh, all those things will be felt so much because your spirit has mixed with uh, the body. Okay. But when you practice things which detach your spirit from the body, there will be less feeling of these things. So things that could have made you angry, no anger. Things that could have given you so much pains and you don't feel them. Okay. And uh, that is an added benefit. And everyone is crying because of pains or because of stress and all these kind of things. And the solution is just to have a withdrawal from body consciousness and uh, mind consciousness, you see, to some extent, you know. So that is the essence. Okay. Otherwise, we practice all these things and we don't achieve the goal. Um, it's not different from, let's say, a goat eating only uh, vegetables, <laughs> cow eating. <laughs> They don't become <laughs> God realized. <laughs> they don't become self realized mm. because it's not a goal. They are just so people are becoming vegans for vegan sake. Mm. You see, but human is a different topic altogether. Okay, you see, it's a different topic altogether. Right, you are still live on um, JCF. We are discussing vegetarianism. Uh, with Dr. Bafujan, he's a spiritual master, he's a healer, he's a mystic, and he's revealing a lot of new stuff. So please call a friend and a friend to join the discussion. Also ask your friends to subscribe to this channel so that they can watch our videos this and every week. Right, doctor, um, I'm still on the animal um, product. Uh, so let's see, um, I've been taking animal products uh, since infancy and um, I'm, I'm not even I don't even I'm not even aware of this vegetarianism stuff you people are talking about I want to know what and what and what do you guys eat to replace these animal products that I've been eating from infancy um, you know these pork beef chicken and the rest that I've, I'm used to what do you guys eat where do you get your protein from mm. Yes, the first point, the body is controlled by the mind, and mind is controlled by spirit. So ultimately, spirit controls everything. Now, if the body, if the mind is having the control over the body, then uh, the food that you eat, the mind will always say something about it. And one must listen to the mind. There is a part of the mind we call subconscious. That is silent mind. And it is functioning silently inside your body. But it gives you reports. So things you take, it will always give you signals. Mm. You eat something and it gives you some signal. 
So in other words, you eat something that gives you thumb up. <laughs> mm, okay. You eat something and you say, no, 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 no. Mm. But we don't listen. We are not, we don't even care about subconscious because it's silent mind. We let the, the loud mind, mm. that is the lower mind, mind. to dominate uh, as to the extent that we don't hear the silent mind speaking to us. It is this silent mind that tells you uh, there is so much accumulating in your bladder so you have to urinate. It gives you the signal. Mm, okay. It is the same mind that gives you a signal uh, water is so reduced so you feel the sensation of test. You are thirsty. Mm. Hunger. It is that silent mind that is reminding you it does a whole lot of things for the human. And uh, it guides us on diet. You eat something and immediately you feel some uh, dullness, heaviness, and you start to sleep. It's, it's not normal. It shouldn't be so. So if you eat the right diet that your body wants to take, you will still be active, energetic. energetic, you see. So uh, we have to learn to listen to the subconscious. And how do we learn? Um, if you have moments, you practice. You have moments that uh, you silence the loud mind, this uh, lower mind, you know. There are techniques. And when you fix the mind at a point, it becomes silent. Sometimes it will disobey and move on. Mm -hmm. But you bring it back. It stays for some time before you realize it has mm -hmm. jumped. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is the objective mind. Mm -hmm. But um, practice makes perfection. Perfect. So if you are able to let it stay at one point, you feel relaxed, then the subconscious mind, now you can hear mm -hmm. messages from the subconscious mind guiding you. Mm -hmm. And that is what we call intuition. Inner tuition is guiding you from inside. And uh, if you can do like that, you don't have troubles uh, about even your eating and so on. Um, also, um, the eating process, uh, there should be the way to eat. When you get the food itself, like you are asking what uh, we guys. <laughs> I want to know what to eat because it's very weird. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to eat my fufu and there is no uh, meat or no chicken or pork. <laughs> Remember, the body adjusts for anything. Within, a sh within time. So you have adjusted for fufu and the body adjusts itself to go along with it. Even when you are changing from the fufu to something else that may be originally good for you, your body may complain. Mm. You see, your body may complain until after some time, then it will pick it, even though that is the best for you. you know. So, um, uh, the vegetables, any fruits, vegetables that you eat and your system doesn't complain, then you have to let it be part of your diet. Okay. See? And uh, that means the silent mind, the mind of God is giving you thumb up for that food, then you as an individual, you can keep eating that for your diet as a vegetarian. Mm -hmm. And uh, then the eating process itself is very important. Originally, alkaline is what our system functions better with. But the acid, acidity is not, uh, a condition good for the body. Acidity increases our 
body consciousness. Alkalinity, alkaline, uh, helps us to reduce. They are opposites. The alkaline reduces body awareness, mm. and the acid increases body awareness. So it's opposite direction. It makes us more worldly. The acidity, and the alkaline makes us less worldly. Now. Uh, the Great Spirit knows that we will have acid in the fruits also, uh, and then in the vegetables also. So there is something wonderful that is done for you. The saliva is alkaline. Mm. So if you chew the food well, even if it is acidic, then the alkaline from your saliva will neutralize the acidity. Okay. So that he this helps you to include more in your diet, more fruits, mm -hmm. because certain fruits are alkaline, like um, uh, you know, uh, fruit like. Popo avocado mm -hmm. is alkaline. Say, uh, banana is alkaline. Mm -hmm. Say, so we have certain fruits that are alkaline if we need to look. And, and then uh, vegetables do the same. But some are acidic. But altogether, just chew your food well. And uh, whether acid or alkaline, it tends to be alkaline, all right. You see, so that is something. Uh, to note, um, even as a vegetarian, yeah. But you see, you are talking of fruits, fruits, fruits in vegetarianism. I, I, I was thinking maybe you'd be talking more about meats and fish and so on. No, but they are not vegetarian. If you talk of meat, fish, those things are not vegetarian. But vegetarian. the thing is, there are people turning slowly towards vegetarianism. So. They have some remnant of meat matter, okay. and that is where I was talking about some taking fish, mm. eggs, poultry, things like that. Mm. But it's on the way towards vegetarianism. Okay. So those those of you who doesn't take fish, meat, uh, or any of the dairy product, what do you eat? What do you take in, in place? Mental oh, good, 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 good. Mm. There are standard preparations of vegetarian diets. Mm. And yes, uh, most people are not aware of it. See. In fact, we wanted to have a, a, t a vegetarian teaching restaurant so that okay. people can come to also learn the standard preparations. Right when, here at JCF. Yes. Wow, that's, that's good. Uh, because... It is something many people changing to vegetarianism. That is what puts them off because they don't get the taste. But there are standard preparations that are very tasty. Okay. You see. Without meat and fish. With, without meat and fish. And when it is like that, uh, one will not feel for meat anymore. Mm -hmm. Because even when somebody is a meat eater, and he's given a standard vegetarian meal. If he tastes it, it's like uh, he's not seeing the difference. It tastes very nice. Okay. You see? So uh, there are certain spices, combination of certain spices, and it can give you any flavor that, uh, like, if a beginner one certain flavor like meat, turkey, uh, a real nutritionist or dietitian can prepare a vegetarian uh, diet that will give you all this. Wow. Wow. More than this chicken then. Ah, yes, yes, yes. yes. Uh, you get all the flavor like that. And uh, wow. you enjoy it. So you said JC, you, you are about yes, to Yes, 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 we are like about that. to do that. Okay, then maybe I so have to. We want to help people. And, uh, so if you are a family, 
the woman can come to learn for just one week. You see, just one week. And uh, uh, it's going to have standard preparations for the family. Okay. You see, yeah. All right. And you see, uh, most of us, um, we, are, we are very, um, you see, we are very addicted to this meat and the rest. So how do we transition? In case maybe I want to transition from eating meat to a vegetarian diet. Diet, yeah. Um, you initially, you said you can just go straight and sometimes too you can transition slowly. Especially when you are a family or you are dependent, um, you have to go slowly. Yeah, yeah that one is understood. But um, when you are going slowly, Try to increase the inner, inner decision to arrive at complete vegetarianism. So when it is there like that, nature will help you, or God will help you, the Great Spirit will help you, so that you, surprisingly you will make certain circumstances come your way. And then here you are, oh, wow. and you have uh, what you want to eat. So when you increase uh, the inner inner inner, 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 inner decision it. that you really want okay. to attain, okay. by and by to change. Food. Yeah. Okay. And you see, in our part of the world, um, these things are not common here. Mm. When you come to Ghana, um, vegetarianism is not that common. Mm. And uh, so, let's say I'm I'm a, I'm a vegetarian, and I want to go out with meat eaters. Um, how do I cope with them? And you know the critici criticisms, all going around vegetarianism and the rest. Yeah. When you were, I'm giving you an example. When you were a vegetarian, for instance, you see you lose weight, um, you not be eating certain diets and the rest. And it's weird here, and people will be pointing hands at you, criticizing you, and stuff like that. How can you get over those criticisms? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, one has to understand some things about life. Uh, spirit is beyond polarities. So, uh, being uh, lean and being overweight or fat, none of them draws you closer to spirit. spirit. Okay. In the middle, you are closer to spirit because spirit is neither this nor that. And <clears throat> it is the middle way that always becomes easier to contact spirit. So weight gain should not be used as a standard so that uh, if you have weight and you come uh, down. The only thing is you shouldn't go beyond the middle to become lean. Mm -hmm. Lean like that is also not the standard. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. yeah, so both extremes are not the standard for sorry, uh, to help you to attain. But when you become balanced, you have a, a chance to grow uh, or to move towards realization. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, if you are a vegetarian and uh, you are going out with those who are meat eaters and they are uh, on you, telling you this, telling you that, the point is this. When you have an ideal, once the ideal is actually helping you, keep to it. It doesn't matter what anybody says. The truth is that when you maintain it, within time, those who criticized go through certain things and they see you maintained. And they wonder. And sometimes they may reason with you later. You see? So uh, you don't drop... Uh, something that is really good, that is helping you. You don't drop it just because people 
say this, people say that. Those people, ah, uh, now, 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 they don't realize. But time will tell. Then they realize that they were off track and you were on track. They realize it later. So, such things, we need to be strong. See, I mentioned the other time, when plenty people are singing, and they are singing very loud, but uh, you see that the song they are singing is discord. Discord, and you hear it, and uh, you have the right song and you are singing it, and they say, ah, you're disturbing us, you, we are singing, don't you? You know, they, 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 uh, they think you are disturbing them because they are singing, and they think it is the right tune. Right. Now, it doesn't mean you should leave the retune and go and join the discord. Mm. What you should do is continue singing the right tune and ah, you may even sing it by and by louder and louder and louder and louder and then it will even enter their ears side by side with their own and then they will start to hear and it's so melodious and so uh, rhythmic and they see it as wow, wow. It looks like that is the way. That is the way the song is actually the one he is he or she is singing, you see. So you have to keep to the right thing once it is right. Of course, you need to make proper analysis to see that what you're doing is the right thing. Once you know it is right and it is helping you, keep at it. Okay. No matter if the whole world is going against it. Keep at it. You see, all the good things that has helped mankind, uh, people fought it. But it became good because people, those who were at it, maintained it. Okay. And uh, such struggles are always there in life. It is part of the pattern of life. Uh, um, people are going this direction. And let's say you have gone there and it's a dead road and you are coming this direction back. And then you tell them, that way is not the way. They said, no, 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 no. Uh, just let, keep, leave us alone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so they keep going, going, going. And when they bounce, and it is a dead road, they say, ah, we heard that guy was mm -hmm. telling us so. <laughs> and you have to retain uh -huh. common past. Yes, uh, the, so the that right. is how life is. Okay, the right. Uh, but there are some, they won't, they are very uh, well composed and open minded. So they are going this way, and you are telling them things, and they see that you really know what is there. They take their time to listen. And they try to analyze. And sometimes they say, no, 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 no. I, I won't waste all the time to go there. I'm you know. this guy. And then they return. All right. So. And doctor, we don't have enough time before you yes, sign yes, out. Yes. Um, we have about five minutes. Before you sign out, mm -hmm. I want to know about um, uh, vegetarianism and, uh, uh, you know, and eating normal food. Which one is more expensive? Do you think people people have the view that vegetarianism is more expensive uh, than eating the normal uh, standard diet? I don't know your views about that. <laughs> you use the word normal standard diet. <laughs> <laughs> normal standard diet means our normal rice and chicken. Uh, <laughs> yes. When the human has deviated and he's eating certain things, uh, how we can call it normal diet. <laughs> it's not normal, but it's taken as normal. Okay. You see. Anyway, so... Uh, but is vegetarianism that ex expensive? Is it yeah. very expensive to live a vegetarian life? Um, I wouldn't say so. 
uh, what it is, vegetarian diet, if you are buying the vegetables and they are expensive, number one, um, if you take that food on and on, on and on, and there is no sickness, the other one pays less to eat meat. He goes on and on, on and on. He gets sick and he pays for the healing, the sickness, the treatment. He goes to the hospital, he buys medicines. So in the long run, uh, he pays more. You see, it is just illusion. So <clears throat> you... Uh, if you are able to take the vegetarian diet, there is less uh, acidity, there is less toxicity, and that means uh, toxic, that accumulates in the system is less. But it is more in uh, meat diet. Mm -hmm. See, meat diet tastes long, it tastes longer than vegetarian diet and uh, vegetarian diet uh, moves faster you see when it is like that the toxicity is less and toxicity is the root of a lot of the ailments that people have if you have some ailment and you have toxicity it worsens the ailment you see so you are paying more because at short time you are sick even though you add the meat, which may be less costly, and uh, uh, in the long run, you, you re really pay more, you see. So, uh, that is it. Final words. Yes. We don't have time. We have lots of questions. <laughs> maybe I think we have to uh, be thinking of part two, but final words for okay. the first part of this. Yes. Uh, these days, the... Uh, vegetarian diet uh, because of chemicals I think that is also another topic mm. you know chemicals everywhere mm. uh, the vegetables the fruits they are all chemicalized and uh, when you eat them in that way also it's no good mm. so uh, what to do <laughs> <laughs> Well, um, there are several things one can do. Like you said, it can be also in another video, but uh, just a little hint, you see. The vegetables, first of all, you make effort to grow your own. Okay. But of course, not everybody has land <laughs> to grow. Uh, especially if you are in the city, you are at the mercy of what is already made. And we need to educate those who are uh, doing these farms, vegetable farms. In fact, such education should be on the media, you see. And it is more beneficial than some of the topics discussed on media to really uh, educate those who are doing these farms and we have to find work for those who are selling the chemicals mm -hmm. so that they don't uh, import these mm -hmm. things. Those agrochemicals, insecticides to sell them. and so on. Okay. Then we also have to produce organic uh, insecticides, insecticides, insecticides and so on. Okay. But there is a mystery. If the humans turn, all of the humans should turn to eat the vegetables, mystery of mysteries, the competitors, nature will reduce them. Wow. We are not taking them. The nature increases the other entities that will take them. Mm. Because the ancient time, a long time ago, there were no chemicals. And the creatures were not there plenty like this to eat. 
the vegetables because the humans were only eating those things. But the moment uh, humans deviate and these artificial things we are eating more and more uh, so on, then nature says, oh, uh, all the creatures are mine. Let me feed them on it because you don't eat it. Mm. You see, if you don't eat, then more creatures will be given to eat because it's an it's ecosystem and if we are eating it, then nature will produce it more for us or help us to have it more. But if we don't eat it, then uh, the creatures will come. And then when the creatures are becoming plenty, then we are now looking for mm. chemicals to go kill them. Mm. You see, it's a, it's a problem because uh, humans are part of the problem. And we can be the ones to solve it also. So education should go on and uh, we find some other work for those who are using, uh, I mean, selling these chemicals and the, the, the import of these chemicals should be curtailed so that uh, we, we have local uh, uh, organic uh, pesticides mm, okay. and we can produce them more. Mm. See, there is a way to process charcoal, there is a, a way to process neem, the Ash neem, and the rest. neem leaves. Uh, they, they can all be used as pesticides mm. and the creatures, they stay away. You see, the bitterness and there is some other thing in the neem. When you sprinkle it, it is edible. But the creatures, because, because of the taste, they, 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 they stay away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you see? So these things are uh, things to be encouraged. And uh, the other things are to be discouraged. Okay. You see? So thank you very much for your time. You are welcome. Thank yeah. you also for your time. Try as much as you can to grow your own food. If you have only have a backyard, you can, uh, you know, pick some waste out there and use it in growing your, your own plants. See you in another video. Thank you.